Welcome again to another tutorial. This is part four of our mixing series. It's just basically an overview of how to go about using the tools to mix a beat. And I'm just explaining everything, how you use the various tools to get particular sounds when you're mixing the actual rhythm itself. All right, so last video we talked about EQ. This video we're going to talk about effects like reverb and delay specifically. There are others, but those are the two main ones you might use a lot more than, than the rest. All right, so we're going to focus on the guitars. All right, so on its own, it just sounds uh, weird. It sounds all right, but it could have do it a little bit more sparkling and whatever. Let's move this down. Okay, so what we want to do now is all right, so the first thing I'm going to add is the delay. And delay bank is one of those plugins where you can have up to eight different types of delay sounds, different settings in one plugin. So what I did was the first setting I had um, a basic delay, pan it to the pan it to the left, and I add an next one, pan it to the right. And what I did, there's a dry wet knob which is setting how much how much of the delay sound I want compared with the mixing with the dry signal. Um, in this one you have, you can filter it out. You can increase the feedback. You can even send the first signal to the next one and mix it on all them something. There's a whole heap of ways you can do to fool around to get particular different sounds. But for this one, let's keep it basic. If you're listening in a headphones, you'll, listen, you'll notice the two sides sound different. And it comes together to give the complete sound that I want. The next sound I want to, the next in effect I want to highlight is the reverb. Alright, so the reverb too is FL Studio's um, basic reverb plugin. You have the decay knob, which um how much of the how much of the sound echoes through the size of the room you have the size now but sets how big the room you want the room um you have the some eqs high cut low cut which affects the sound itself the dry wet knob from similar to the so how much of the reverb sound you want on the actual sound itself and this is how you can actually sweeten up your rhythms and add some interest to it and stuff like that but in everything moderation is key you don't want to add too much of the effect and it sounds weird when you listen to the entire rhythm itself so all these decisions have to be made in the context of the track um, Added a reverb on the, the snare. And that's basically it. Um, I added another one on the so this is how the rhythm sounds now after you added the reverb.
that's basically it for effects um if you have any questions about using reverb and stuff like that on your beats just leave them in the comments below and i'll definitely respond back to you guys um yeah until next time one love